is when, where, or why? But my, my condolences go out to the family. So at this time, I'm asking the where they stand, please. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last he will stand upon the earth, and after my skin has been thus destroyed, then without my flesh I shall see God. If he live, we live to the Lord. If we die, we die to the Lord. So then whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ died and lived again, that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his great mercy, we are being born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and to an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for you. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. At this time, in Bushaw, we want to sing the hymn. Uh -oh. hmm? On my fear of me can see it afar, for the Father was over the way to be fair of a friend with Wish. 
away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Well, um, if someone could help us with this, um, you, deserve, you deserve the glory, hallelujah, belongs to you. Um, I want to help with that.
up in heaven with the angel singing hallelujah belongs to you. Huh? How do you think we'll feel there? And we feel joyful? Yes. Well, we have, to, we have to walk towards that. And once we walk towards it, we'll reach there. We're going to reach there. Oh, at this time, um, I would like to invite um, Marissa to uh, read the eulogy. Everyone. Hello, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Marissa, and I am Mr. Sirius' granddaughter. While writing this yesterday morning, I felt him telling me that I should be the one to read this today. I feel honored to be able to do this for him. I was blessed to be able to call him Grandpa. We gathered here today to remember the life of a small man who accomplished larger things than life. Many of us here know Mr. Sirius personally. Some of you here may not ever had the chance of meeting him in person like myself. But that just shows how far his influence reached. My grandfather was a truly amazing spirit. And for those of you who knew him, will feel honored to have been his. We feel privileged to be able to be called his mother, his father, his wife, his daughter, his sons, his sister, his brother, his grandchildren, and his friend. While we mourn his loss today and miss him daily, I know that Heavenly Father called him home because he had greater woods awaiting him on the other side. Work, his failing body, could no longer manage to assist in him. He managed to accomplish many great things in life. I can only imagine the things he will be able to bring to pass as a divine spirit. It has been said that the best dads get promoted to grandpas. Grandfathers are good listeners, good storytellers, and most importantly, good friends. They are always there to laugh and play with their grandkids and even con console them when necessary. Grandfathers are also often the source of sage advice, a benefit of their many years of experience. One thing is for sure, the love of a grandfather is a unique treasure that is never forgotten by their grandchildren. The time spent with a grandfather turns into precious memories that are conserved in the heart even long after they have passed. I never got the chance to say hi, but I came to say my final goodbye. One of my wish was to see my grandfather face to face. As I said, I never got the chance to say hi, to call you grandpa, or to hug you and know you. But I have forgiven you a long time ago. Two things I know about you is that you love to dance and you love music. Yes. <laughs> Who knew that this is the way most of your grandchildren would have seen you for the first time? The hardest part for me is not doing much about you personally and having to write this. Through the past years, I heard a bit about you, thanks to mommy and grandma Diane. We know you are in a better place. No pain, no light will, and no water will to pay. <laughs> you have lived your life, and now it's time to rest. And to mention, you was young and spicy in your days. I still can't believe my first time seeing you is my last time seeing you. Cancer, you really suck. You are a wonker. You make far too many people sick. Cancer, you're pain, you are a pain in the butt and an annoying little punk. Cancer, you're such a hater. I don't want to see you back. Cancer, please, you didn't have to take him. I'll do anything to retract. Cancer, can't you see how much pain you have caused? If you spread health instead of pain, you'll get so much more applause. Cancer, please just give us the time back. That's too late. Cancer, it's so unfair. Why so many do you hate? Cancer, you suck. 
the future from so many you have touched. I beg for one more life spared. Would that really be too much? Grandpa, I can't say my wish didn't came true. I got to see you. And you will surely be missed and always remembered. Please watch over us and fly high. For the righteous perish. For the righteous perish and no one take it to heart. The devout are taken away and no one understands that the righteous are taken away to be spared from evil. Those who walk uprightly enters into peace. They find, they find rest as they lie in death. Rest in peace, Grandpa. Also a pleasant good evening to each and everyone. I've known Linda, which is the deceased sister, for a very long time. And we all go as one. And today I am here to accompany her because I will tell you all, I lose nine in three months. Three grandchildren, my son and four brother and a sister. Five brother and a sister. So I am here just to sing this song to comfort you all. Say you don't have to worry and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, trouble seems to last too long, for there's a friend called Jesus. He will wipe your tears away. And if your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know it is I can stand. No matter what may come away, a life is in God's hand. Though in test and trials, they seem to let you down. All your friends and loved ones. They know yet to be found. For there's a friend called Jesus. He will wipe your tears away. If your heart is broken, just lift your hands and say, I know. Oh! Uh -huh. 
Christ, 
Cristo as your personal Savior and friend. Get to know Him now. When you die in Jesus, on that great and notable day, you will rise again. You rise. Let us think for a moment. This place was prepared uh, to give services. And Jesus said, uh, I go to prepare a place for you. If I go, I will come again as to receive you unto myself, that where I am, there he may be also. You just think of it. If Jesus said he's going to prepare a place for us, huh? it lies on us as to prepare ourselves uh, for that great day. And as we prepare ourselves uh, for that great day, Jesus will uh, raise us up again uh, as to be in the banquet. There will be a banquet. There will be a banquet. But all uh, who is uh, worthy, all who is qualified, will sit around uh, the horse to table enjoying the banquet. So, my dear people and friends, uh, God is telling us to get ready. Prepare ourselves for that great uh, day when we shall sit around uh, the horse, the horse table, as to enjoy the banquet of the Lord. The brother has gone. We cannot say, but God knows. And God knows him. God knows we. God knows you. He knows every one of us. Jesus himself uh, will come from heaven with a shout, with a voice of the archangel, and the dead in Christ shall rise to us, and we who are alive will be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. If we can just visualize uh, what will take place, we will see many who died before will raise up that great day. We raise up. I am the resurrection and the life, said Jesus. He believe in me. Believe in God. And so, child of love, everyone knows, knows Jesus came as a babe, walked through Jerusalem, and they crucified him. For no sin of his own, but for your sin, my sin, and for the sin of the whole world. And so, therefore, we have an opportunity to make uh, what is wrong right. And can only do so by the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit. No, God is a person. Uh, in a spirit form. Jesus Christ uh, is a person. The Holy Spirit is a person. We can hide uh, from God. God sees us. God knows us. God knows every movement of us. So therefore, we have to look to Him, God the Father. 
through the Son Jesus Christ. Give us the right to say, Our Father, as we look at your Father prayer, it speaks volume. It speaks volume. And as we said, our Father prayer, as we forgive those that trouble against us, God will forgive us. So, join the Lord, we pray God at this time. Uh, we pray God uh, that God will take full control of every situation in our life. He said, train up the child in which you shall go, but they which the age would not forget. And so, tell me, love, God is God, and beside him there is no other. When we look at the different, different organizations and so forth, but I want us to understand this. <coughs> if we build, have a building, we have a staircase to go up into the house. The first feather, we put them up, we, then we go up. But in order for us to gain salvation, the first feather is repentance. Jesus said, repent for remission of us, our sin. And when we repent of our sin, God will forgive, God will pardon, and God will bless us with a new, with a new hope. Our hope is built on Jesus. He will say, my hope is built on nothing less, save Jesus Christ, and is crucified. And so tell you that God the Father He gave His orders. And He gave His orders we have to follow His commandment. See? God is a loving God. God cares for us. God thinks about His people. God cares about his people. And as God cares for his people, we must show God that we are interested in, in getting to know him better and better. See? Jesus said he will come with a shout. And we pray, we pray God that God will bless us this evening with wisdom, with knowledge, and with our spiritual understanding that we know that after death is judgment. We are to appear before the judgment seat of Christ as to give us strict account for the deed done in the body, whether it be good or whether it be evil. When we look, what love a song and because you love a song you have a tape recorder you take the song of a choice when your life to relax you switch on to replay the song and as you switch on to replay the song you enjoy the song but I want to tell us this evening there's a tape recorder on scene recorder, God is taping every movement we make. Every movement we make. Every time uh, we attend a service, God has his recorder. So on the day of judgment, that will be, we, we will pray back to us. So we have no excuse. So tell him, Lord, uh, as the passing of the brother, it uh, helps us 
to understand uh, more and more of God. Why God made us, what intent he had us for, and uh, after that, what is the result? Once we have that in mind, we, we have that recorded, God, and we seek his face, God will hear and answer us. Whatever we ask God for, he will grant unto us. But I want to, I want to tell this crowd this evening, not too long uh, we had uh, what they call the greatest show no. The greatest show no. But God is having a day. A day is coming uh, when there will be a great show, show down on earth. A great show down on earth. Those who know God and those who walk after his command and live up to the principle of the word, they shall be saved. God will say, well done, good and faithful servant, enjoy the peace of life. You pray God that God will bless you all. God will give you the courage, the wisdom, understanding to know that the same God uh, where Jesus Christ uh, in Moses he will be a founding judge in the end to come. Why Jesus Christ is coming with a shout, with the, with the archangels, and those who want to are on the way, he will pick up. So, dearly beloved, we pray God and God will bless us, God will bless the family, and God will strengthen us, whereby we be able to go on and on and on. For the scripture tell us clearly, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. I want to encourage and advise all parents, all parents, take full control of the children. Teach their children the way of God. Amen. You teach them the way of God, what you put in the, what you put in them today. You will reap it tomorrow. When we look at what is happening in the world today, we have to blame ourselves. Blame ourselves. The government cannot help. We have to help ourselves and help the government. For a better people, a better way of life, a life of prosperity, a life of, of goodness. Now, God, I want us to get it clear. God desire every one of us to live good, to live right, to live happy, to live joyful. But how can we do it? We have, to, we have to start with ourselves. We will start with ourselves, pass on to our children, and the children pass on to the children's children. You find uh, the way will be better and better and better. Tell the Lord because where we gather now, in a few times, we will suffer from one another. But as 
we suffer one for another, God will remind us. See, what I am saying, I'm saying to you. I'm saying to myself. Uh, you know why? Paul, the apostle, the great apostle says, if I preach the gospel, and I did not live up to the principle of the world, I myself will be a class away. No? So what I'm saying to you, I'm saying to myself, if I tell you to walk right, I want to walk right. Walk good, why? Because God hung me here as an example to those who do not know God. Yes. Yes. So the Lord will all be paid God with God of blessings. I want to, I want to tell you this. Um, his brother, called Louis uh, Sarah, he was a pastor of Mount Sinai and he was sick. And while he was sick, I was a junior pastor and they sent for me to help him with the church. So I went up there and I said, well, he's a young man. When he get good, healthy, I'll go back to my church and preach. But it was not to be so. He passed away. And as he passed on, they told me, there's not much of you here, remain here. And do you know, and uh, at one time, some wicked hand burned the building. Half past four in the morning, Put telephone wrong, wrong, answer. Is there a pastor that you on fire? When I reach up there, I saw the smoke ascending. I told them, they burned the building, but not the church. The church lives on. Amen. That was Friday night, Saturday morning. We cut bamboo. We made a tent and we worship Sunday morning. We worship Sunday morning. We keep conscious prayers from house to house. And I will have a pastor, work department, help churches, you know. Is that so? I went to the work department. Who's that? He said, Come in. When I went here, I said, Come on, uh, good morning, sir. Second morning. He said, What can I do for you? I said, So I understand you all have churches. He said, Who tell you that? I said, You know what? Uh, the balls of fly, the balls of bring messages. You laugh. Then he got serious. He said, Yes, we do have churches. My name is Somerville. I am the great, great uh, pre supervisor. Write a letter to me. Would you write a letter to me? I will forward a debt. I came to um, San Fernando, St. Paul Street. One sister died, the secretary of the union. She typed the letter. When I went back, I didn't meet him home, we was in the office uh, the day I went, I, I kept it for a week. Uh, I took it to him, he, he read it, he shook his head, he said yes, now Pastor Yewood, when we want uh, materials, could you furnish us the materials? I said by God help sir, we will get the materials. Uh, Thursday, For telephone wrong, the answer, he said, Miss Somerville, say, I come in Monday, we come in, we want so and so material. Say, thank you very much, sir, by God's help, you help. 
Monday morning when I get in my cell because I live in Ivy Village and uh, where it is about, it's approximately about five miles. When I reached there, you know, he was there. The supervisor was there with the men to build the building. He said, Pass here with these little men, whatever material you want, they will, you furnish them with the, with the material and put up the church. And uh, the building is there. God's help. You see, when we worship in God, we must worship Him in the spirit and in truth. Why we must do that? Because God sees and God knows all things. And so, my dear people, through God's help, we have a, a, a concrete building. Through God's help. Why? Because God gave me the courage, determination to speak to your, His people will never have the opportunity. So as I have this opportunity, I, I allow you to know what God will do. Amen. And for that cause, telling love, I'm telling you, get to know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and friend and worship Him in the beauty of holiness. Jesus said to repent for the remission of your sin. And that is the, that is the cause. Sin is the cause of death. Sin is the cause of death. And because of that, gentlemen, love, we have a privilege now as to worship our God in the beauty of holiness. So I am telling to you, if you do not know Jesus Christ, as a personal friend, my friend, get to some believing church and uh, tell your pastor, so in so case, I want to be baptized and get to know Jesus Christ as my Savior. And so your job will be fulfilled. I'm free now. No, I am free. God gave me a letter to deliver. And as God gave me a letter to deliver, I deliver my letter to you. It is to you to open the letter, read it, sign it, and so on. I'm free. Free, free, free. So tell you, love, this debt, this debt is God's glory. Through his debt, many will become, many will get to know Jesus Christ as a personal Savior friend. Once we get to know Jesus Christ, uh, our personal Savior friend, we endeavor to walk the road uh, that God wants us, God intended us to walk. Behold, I come quickly, and my word is to be to pay every man according to his work. Oh, dear little love, you know, to get to know Jesus Christ is something, is something sweet, you know. You talk about honey, you talk about honey sweet, but get to know Jesus Christ uh, as a personal Savior and friend, and I'm telling you it is sweeter than honey. It is joy, 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 unspeakable, unspeakable. Oh, yes. Thank you, brother. Full of glory. <laughs> and uh, I want to say this to you. Man and uh, a man say that he is a man. You call him a man. You have children. Okay. God said be food from multiplying our children. But you have to Teach in the way. Direct your children in the way to go. When you direct your children in the way to go, they'll be able to live 
as God wants us to live. Why? Because when Jesus Christ was 12 years of age and went and went to found Jesus Christ among the doctors, lawyers, the doctors asked question and Jesus was able to answer them the question. But when Jesus asked them the question, they were unable to answer Jesus' question. So if you're walking with Jesus, you'll get the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding to know who's your friend and who's not your friend. So, why, you see, parents have a great gift to do, a great work to do with the children. If a child, if you teach a children the way of righteousness and holiness, in the latter day, you, you, you will be joyful to know why, because what you are putting is now reaping your reward. But if you didn't take time and put in the children, you will be able to cry. You can't get up. So there is a law of God help me to say that. I will pray. God and God will bless you richly. God will raise you up. And those who lose their parents, who lose their father, their uncle, or what relative? When my father died, I was three years and a half. My mother raised me up to the help of God. And so, I get to know him and I'm endeavoring to worship God and the beauty of holiness. So may God richly bless you. And may you take the word as God has given it to you. And as God has given you the word, what I have said today, it will bear fruit in the near future. And may God richly bless you and the peace of God with past your understanding rest and by your long forever. Amen. And so the closing hymn is this when we all get to heaven.
education they have, they'll be able, Lord, uh, to go places. They'll be able, Lord, to meet great and small. Then I pray, Lord, uh, to bless the church today. Grant them the willingness to learn. Use God and beside thee, there is no other. Then, Holy Father, I pray in the name of the Son Jesus Christ that thou continue, Lord, to be with the family. Those, Lord, that need help, open the way for them, Lord, open the way for them, open the way that they will be helped. Use God and beside thee, Lord, there is no other. Hold them with a powerful hand and lead them on diligently to perfection. Lord, I pray, Holy Father, that thou will grant the youth, Lord, that they will choose their friends. Choose their friends, Lord. And if they choose their friends, the life will be a happy life. The life will be a peaceful life. The life will be a joyful life. Then, Holy Father, we pray in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, that God will bless this congregation. Bless us, Holy Father, that we remember what you have told us today. We'll be able, Lord, to live up to the principle whereby the time will come when we will hear, well done, good and faithful servant, enter in the joy of life. And I pray, Holy Father, those, Lord, you see within the window how that need help, open the door for them. Those that need work, Holy Father, open the door for them, that they may get to work. And Holy Father, in your hands, in your hands I, I commit to them, even the Lord, your bereaved family especially. I pray, Lord, that thou will comfort them this evening. As thou will comfort Mary and Martha. Oh, Holy Father, use God, and beside thee, there is none. Hear my prayer, Lord, because we have access to Jesus and Jesus Christ, the Savior and Redeemer of the world, long present. Mm -hmm. The Lord bless thee. The Lord calls his face to shine upon thee. The Lord be gracious on the dream and grant thee peace. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Yes, you can open to view the body. When I die, and I am
Alright.